Hey there, Pride fans, and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHopster.com. I'm Mark Wiener, joined by the head men's soccer coach, Richard Nuttall. Coach, how's it going? Hey, yeah, good, thanks, man. So a tie and a win for you guys against Northeastern and College of Charleston, only one goal scored in total. What did you think of last week as a whole? Yeah, generally speaking, disappointed with the outcome, especially the Northeastern game. We had lots of shots that didn't finish, but uh, other than that, I think I thought against Charleston we played very well and did a job and were comfortable somewhat. You know, we were in the ascendancy most of the game, but overall, how we played, very happy with the two games, but generally speaking, not happy with the way we finished chances. My Mehmet scoring that lone goal against College of Charleston, he'll be your lone senior graduating. What can you say about what Maid has done for the program? Oh, he's done a tremendous amount, both on and off the field. Uh, on the field, I think the stats show what he's done. He's a goal scorer, um, you know, he's a leader, he's a captain of the team, and he's going to be sorely missed. Off the field, he's a wonderful person, and uh, I know he's going to do well in life in whatever avenue he takes. He speaks five languages. He gets on great with most people, and, he, and uh, you know, he's a chance of playing soccer in Europe, I would say, maybe getting a contract. And if he doesn't, if he chooses to continue in education, I know he'll do well as well. So we wish him all the very, very best. Now, Coach, you guys will be the three seed in the upcoming CAA tournament. You get to host the quarterfinal against JMU this upcoming Saturday. What's the team's mindset heading into Saturday? Well, we know it's going to be a very difficult game. At JMU are very athletic. They've got uh, a couple of great defenders. They've got some uh, technical players in midfield who can pass the ball well on the threat up top. So we know it's going to be a battle. Uh, and uh, again, Coach Martin has got uh, JMU very well organised. He's got athletic players. It's just something that we, we've got to set our focus and we've got to set our goal in trying to achieve a victory. And we, we can't lose sight of the target because JMU are quality. You beat the Dukes 2-1 to one down at their home earlier this season. What did you take from that victory? Yeah, again, their athleticism and, and they're all over the park. They're, they're, they've got mobility and um, there were three or four special players and we've got to take care of those special players and defend well as a team and pass the ball well. I think uh, knowing that they can hurt us at any time with their abilities. So it's going to be a very good game that we're looking forward to. You mentioned some special players. Who are some special players you have to watch on, on the Dukes? Well, the defender who's got an Icelandic name that I can't really uh, pronounce, Adel Steinson, is very, very good. And then they've got uh, Grant in midfield and the forward, uh, the big lad up top, is very good too. Um, but I can't remember his name at the moment, but generally speaking, they've got three or four special players that we've got to take care of. What's the game plan against the Dukes? I don't want to divulge too much, but you know we're looking to pass the ball as we normally do and, and get out them and take the game to, to them as a team. And uh, again, I, I think the big thing is take the game to them, but defend well, defend as a unit. Coach, you were tied for first place in the CAA, so three very good teams in this conference. Do you think your team can win the tournament? Absolutely, no doubt. We've got the ability, but also there's a fourth team called Elon. And uh, the other two teams that were left in Northeast and the GMU can also win. I, I keep saying about this conference, it's a wonderful conference. The top six teams are outstanding. And the two or three that didn't make the playoffs are very good teams too. So from our point of view, any one of the six can win this conference. And we've, we've got to be aware of that. We can't take anything for granted. We've got to stick to the task in hand, which is trying to beat GMU. Finally, Coach, what's your key to victory, not only against JMU Saturday, but for the tournament? Well, I'm not going to talk about the tournament. I'm just going to talk about JMU. Our key is passing the ball quickly and, and keeping a focus and defending well as a unit and defending well one-on-one. -on -one. The head coach of the Hofstra Pride men's soccer team, Richard Nuttall, thanks for the time. Thank you. Fans, come out and support your Hofstra Pride men's soccer team this Saturday, 7 o'clock, against JMU in the CAA quarterfinals. I'm Mark Wiener. This has been the WB Mason Coaches